You made a really good point, by the way, about the Coral Springs Police Department. <laughs> I just want to say how much I, I just love and respect our police and the Coral Springs Police Department. I, I, I know that we talked about this. They released a statement last week where they really went after the Broward County Sheriff, uh, basically accusing him of showboating and running towards the cameras while their officers went towards the sound of gunfire. I think that that was really huge for law enforcement to uh, say that about the Broward County Sheriff in the middle of all of this. And they said truth will come out and they wanted to set the record straight. And I think it was incredibly unfair for the Broward County Sheriff to try to, in a way, shift responsibility and even dereliction of duty even onto other departments. And you could t tell that the Coral Springs police, they were not going to have it. They were not going to allow all law enforcement to be smeared by this man's inaction. Kudos to them for speaking out. And this is why we back the blue and why we step behind them every, every while we stand behind them every step of the way. Yeah, and for those very reasons of what the Coral Springs Police Department called out that sheriff on is why so many are calling for this sheriff to step down. You've got now the Speaker of the House in Florida saying it's time the governor just simply remove the sheriff from office. Clearly, the sheriff and is it's not more leading. than him. It's a number of lawmakers, a number of lawmakers in Florida who represent 13 million Floridians have have signed on uh, to, I believe, this letter where they're they're calling for his resignation. And that's something that Floridians are going to have to come to a determination on, particularly people in that area and those who represent him. But I mean, those that's a, that's a significant number of representatives and people in Florida that are now speaking out about this. And, you know, the Coral Springs Police Department was one of the first that really was pointing out the flaws in his leadership. And, and again, kudos to them for doing so because, you know, in the midst of all of that, they were having to grapple with that man's incompetency. And that's just a lot. That's a lot for law enforcement to deal with all at once. Yeah.